Every day, a violent killer claims the lives of innocent victims. This killer is fire. In a matter of just a few terrifying minutes, it can grow to a point where it's uncontrollable, consuming and destroying everything in its path. In a fire, your place of work, your livelihood, and most importantly, people's lives are in extreme danger. It's important that you have some idea of what you should do in the event of a fire. There could be a fire as soon as you walk out of this training session. So this program has been produced to help you understand what you must do if you discover a fire. What you must do if the fire alarm goes off what a fire is, how they can start, and how fires can be prevented from starting. Finally, we'll look at the different fire extinguishers so that you'll be able to identify what type of fire it is and choose the most suitable fire extinguisher. Around your workplace, you'll find signs like this, which explains the action to take in the event of fire. If you discover a fire, you must raise the alarm straight away by using the nearest available fire alarm call point, which will look like this. Everyone has a responsibility for fire safety. If you see something that you think is not right, make sure that you report it to the person responsible for fire safety so that it can be sorted out before there is an emergency. Your safety or your life could depend on it. For a fire to start, just three things are needed. Heat, fuel, and oxygen. Together, they make what is known as the fire triangle. And preventing fires is about keeping these three elements apart. Nothing should be stacked against the building or perimeter fences, as anything too close could be set alight and the building destroyed without the arsonist having to get inside the building. The cylinders of all modern extinguishers have to be painted red to comply with European standards. A section of the extinguisher, which is usually the label or a solid band of colour, is colour-coded to help you identify them quickly. Icons are used to show pictorially which type of fire the extinguisher can be used on, even if your first language is not English. If used in the early stages, the portable fire extinguishers around your workplace are capable of extinguishing the fire before it becomes a large one. Class A fires are those which involve solid materials such as wood, paper and textiles. On this type of fire you can either use a water, foam or dry powder extinguisher. Always Make sure that you have the correct extinguisher for the type of fire you're about to fight. Using the wrong extinguisher could make the fire worse or result in you becoming a casualty.